Today we are in Canton for the world's largest flea market. Hey, welcome back. Today is day three of our Texas adventures. The first day we were at Magnolia. So if you have not seen that video, make sure to go watch it. I'll link it here. Then yesterday was a travel day and today we are in Canton for the world's largest flea market is what they call it. It is Canton trade days. It only happens once per month and it is one of the biggest flea markets in the US. I'm really excited to see it in person and to see what kind of goodies we're gonna find. I've been so selective lately with my thrifty finds to the point I've really not been thrifting much lately and I think that this is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm just excited to see what kinds of things we are going to find. Okay, before we hit the flea market, I have to tell you about the best coffee shop that we found in the middle of nowhere. If you ever go to Canton, you need to go here. Now that we got our coffee, it is time to head over to Canton Trade Day's first Monday market. This market is one of the biggest flea markets in the U.S. and it is huge. So everything that we're driving by right now that's the flea market. You can see all of the RVs and trailers from people who come over the weekend in order to stay because they are either vendors or out of town shoppers like us. And we just passed about three different gates in order to get in. That is how massive this market is. So we are definitely going to have a lot of fun. We decided to enter on the gate around the back because it's closest to the vintage fields and you know that is right up my alley. And I'm so glad we started here because look at all of this beautiful furniture. Everything was so gorgeous and I just am so sad that we could not fit this stuff in the car because otherwise I would have taken a lot of this furniture home with me was very tempted by this little drawer, but I could not figure out what to do with it and I didn't want to sit with it on the way home. I was so sad that we couldn't stuff this into the car with us because it actually was part of a matching pair. And I did wind up grabbing this little sled for Christmas. There was just so many beautiful accents and I, I really didn't know what to prioritize fitting into the car with us. I saw lots of beautiful glass I thought about for the candle collection, but some of it was overpriced and some of it was just right. This coffee table book was on a dollar table and I don't even know what to use this for, but it's stunning. Things like this, I wanted to just sit and stare at, but I knew I had to not even entertain it because I was going to get so sad. My favorite section to look at was the vintage pavilion. There were just so many beautiful accents, but I have to say these vendors kind of knew a little bit more about their antiques. And so a lot of this was priced slightly higher than out on the fields, just so you know what to expect. I was very seriously considering grabbing about three to five of these to use as candle holders on my dining table, but I just didn't know if that'd be a little too far out, so I wound up leaving them. There was so much beautiful kitchenware, but again, these were the vendors that kind of knew a little bit more about how to price their items, and so a lot of them I decided to leave and save my money for the real steals out on the lawn. When I got to this table full of vintage hardware, I immediately went into a frenzy of, where can I use this? Where can I use this? And I just couldn't figure out anywhere. I just felt so pressured. And so I wound up not grabbing anything, even though these numbers would have been gorgeous on our house. I almost got these for some closet doors, but the more I looked at them, the more they looked a little bit reproduction to me. And I decided to see if I could hold out and find something that was truly vintage. I 
I don't even know what that giant bowl fountain base is, but it's amazing and I need it. <laughs> I love these old vintage kitchen scales and I found a few of them, but I'm really trying to hold out until I can find one that is just the right price for me, but they are stunning and I really would love one for my kitchen. This is the saddest painting ever because I was going to get it and we could not find the vendor anywhere. And these terracotta pots, I just, I fell in love with the rustic look of all of this. But again, they were so big and I didn't know how we were gonna get them home. My final find of the day was these sconces, but I already have some, so I left them. And with that, that was our Canton flea market trip. And it was time to head all the way back across the country, back to South Carolina from Texas. It has been a while since we did a good haul. I'm excited. So we are officially back from our Texas trip. We went to go see Magnolia. So if you've not seen that video, make sure to go watch that one after you're done watching this one. And then we went to Canton Trade Days and went thrifting at the flea market. And I have got a good little haul here that I cannot wait to share with you because I found such fun things. Truthfully, I wish that there had been a way to bring home some of that furniture because that is majority of what I was looking at. So most of what I have here is just like little things that I didn't necessarily need. And I wish I could have found some like real steals, but anything that was like a really great deal that I really liked, it was a big piece of furniture. And so like that just was out of the question, but I do think I still wound up with a good little haul. So let's just dive right in. My first purchase of the day was actually this little wooden sled. I just thought it would be perfect for Christmas time um, to decorate for Christmas. And I've been wanting like a larger one for a while, but they're kind of pricey. And even the little ones I've seen are a little pricey. So this one was only $8. And I was like, okay, let's just do it. Let's just go ahead and get it for Christmas time, even though I'm nowhere near ready. And people are already talking about fall, not ready, but that's fine. Anyway, it's still summer here. Um, but this will be good for when it's Christmas time. And I just thought it was so cute. And so if you have any really good ideas for how to style it, whether that's putting like a little tree on it, or if um, maybe I should put presents on it in a corner, start dropping some of your Christmas styling ideas for it because I've never had a little sled to style before. And so I'm kind of trying to figure out what direction I want to take it in. So let me know any ideas you may have. Okay. This was actually something, I just know what this is. This is actually something I saw. It was one of the first items I saw at the beginning of the day. And then we wrapped back around and then I found it at the end of the day. And I was like, oh my goodness, it's still there. So I had to get it. And the exciting part of this is that it's actually going to be for the candle collection. And so it'll be available to you. Look how pretty. Obviously, I need to clean it, but here's the best part. How stinking cute is this? I just thought this would be absolutely perfect for the candle collection. It's kind of large, but I think it would make the perfect candle. It has a little lid, and then after you've burned your candle down, you can clean it out and use it for candy during the holidays, or you can use it to keep keys or chapstick. Like, it is so cute and functional. Um, I'm excited to clean it up and really see it kind of shine again, but just so stinking cute. Look at the detail on the top of it. I love the ribbed glass. I love the little detailed rim, like just so cute. So yeah, this is going to be for the candle collection and you're going to see a lot more candle vessels. I really stacked up while I was in Texas, like really hit a gold mine. So anyway, this is the first of many to come, but look how beautiful. Speaking of the candle collection, how stinking cute. It's hard to find cute brass vessels that are not outrageously priced or that don't have some strange carving in it. Don't ask me why, but like that's been my experience. So 
This one is the perfect size for a little candle. I love the little embossed leaves in it, like just so stinking cute. So again, this will be another one for the candle collection and I just couldn't say no. This vendor actually had a whole bunch of brass out on his table and like, you know me, you know I already have like a ton of brass. So he came up to me cause he saw me look and he was like, oh, you like the brass? And I was like, yeah, I love brass. I have gobs of it at home. I really don't need any more. And he was like, well, let me see if I can make you a deal that'll make you take some brass home. And I was like, okay, make me a deal. <laughs> and so that's how I wound up with this little vessel here. And so hopefully this will wind up very soon in one of your homes. So um, yeah, I just think it's gonna be the cutest little candle. Okay, I told you lots of candles coming your way. But look how cute. I love the little milk glass on this one. And it almost looks like a little trophy. But I just thought it would be really cute as a candle. Um, and I actually, I know that a lot of people find a lot of milk glass when they're out thrifting. I personally have not been that lucky. I don't find it very often. I don't know if it's our area or what. But so when I saw this at the flea market, I was like, that is the perfect size, perfect shape. So I snagged this up for a candle. And then at that same booth, I also got this guy who I almost didn't get because it's a little bulkier than the delicate glass that I'm usually drawn to. But I liked that it had the two handles. I'm really in love with the two handle glassware, like the little sugar dishes that are missing their lids. And then I love the little ridges on the top and it has a really pretty flower embossed in it to it. And so I was like, this just needs a new home. It needs a new purpose. And so I got it for the candle collection and I think it's going to be a really beautiful candle when it is said and done. All right, I found a few more candle vessels, but they're not quite as unique as these. And so I'm gonna save those and spare you more of the same. And let's dive into one of my personal favorite finds of the day. I mean, I, I, I don't even have words. Um, I got this for three dollars three dollars <laughs> uh i was sitting on top of a table that said half off it was marked 650 and i said that must come home with me and so it did and so uh i now need to know exactly what to do with it because it's stunning and it needs to be somewhere on display and i don't know I don't know if I have a purpose great enough for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, it is so heavy. I wish I could convey how heavy this is. And it just doesn't seem right to put keys in it. It doesn't seem right to put candy in it. Like I just don't, I don't even know what to do with it. Um, I really don't want to put a candle in it because it has this brass here at the bottom. Um, it's just absolutely stunning. I love the brass base. I loved the ribbed glass. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's probably just going to wind up sitting out on a surface somewhere until I can figure out a good enough purpose for it. So if you have any ideas, all suggestions are 100% welcome. And um, yeah, anyway, obsessed with it. And it probably is my favorite find from this flea market. Okay, at that same booth, I got this coffee table book. So it is hefty. It is a big coffee table book and it is the history of art. And normally a book like this would run anywhere from 40 to $80, just depending on, you know, where you're getting it from um, and the condition of it. But I got this guy for a dollar. One, one dollar. <laughs> he was sitting on the dollar table and I was like, no freaking way. And so I took it up to him and I was like, how much is this? And he was like, dollar. And I was like, and so yeah, it obviously came home with me. Um, it just, it's such a cool book and it's going to be so good for styling, but I love that it's about art. And so it just goes into like all of the ancient 
art and so like look at this I mean just look at it anyway I'm really excited about it it's probably one of my favorite finds just because I know that I will be able to style it and really enjoy it but um yeah plus only being a dollar it may be my cheapest find of the flea market as well so very excited about this history of art book okay the last piece that I have for you from this haul like I said I didn't bring home a whole lot because we didn't have a lot of car space and most of like the really great deals were on furniture like if I lived any closer that is a hundred percent where I would furnish my home from but the last deal and I think you will appreciate how good of a deal this was was this little crock with a handle okay and it was marked ten dollars and at flea markets you haggle. I don't know if I've talked about that, but you you haggle. So, you know, I don't need another crock and it was already $10. And so I was like, you know, let's just, let's go haggle. And so um, we asked if they would take four for it, which was kind of gutsy. Um, but then she was like, I already have it marked down in half. And we were like, what? We missed the $5 sticker on it. So I got this little crock with a handle, like, an actual vintage crock for five dollars and so this is also one of my favorites just because of how good of a deal it is at any antique store in this area or any that I go to this would easily be anywhere from I mean on the cheap side 15 and could go all the way up to 35 to 40 dollars for this size of crock so getting this with the little handle perfect condition five dollars what a steal so like this was a really great flea market find for sure because you're just not going to find a deal like this anywhere else that is my canton flea market haul like i said most of it was actually for you guys most of it was candles and pieces for the upcoming candle collection and i know i keep saying upcoming upcoming and so i figured now that i've been rapidly collecting lately I would share a little insider info um, and let you know that it's going to be coming this fall before Black Friday I don't have the exact date for you yet so if you want to make sure that you are one of the first to get access to this really awesome collection um, this is just a part of what I've collected make sure that you sign up for the B-Mail Club. I'll leave the link for you in the description and make sure you're especially signed up for the shop segment because that is who will get first access um, and all of the insider knowledge on the dates, on the new scents, because there's going to be new scents, and also previews from the collection as we get closer to the launch date. So make sure that you are signed up for that. Thank you so much for coming with me to Texas, to Magnolia and to Canton. I was so excited to bring you along to the biggest flea market in the US and I hope that you enjoyed it too. As much as I enjoyed our Texas trip, I am so excited to be back home and being able to finish up the staircase project, getting started on the dining room chairs. Like there's just gonna be a lot of fun coming up. So make sure that if you haven't already, that you are subscribed and I will see you so soon in the next one. Bye.